you know, you never think it'll happen to you until it does. And then the question becomes... But do your kids know what to do in a house fire? Our Laura Langamo takes you inside a unique program that could save your child's life. It's not your typical classroom, but these students are getting a hands-on lesson in what to do in a house fire. We learn how to be safe when we when the house is on fire and come out quickly and safely. The Milwaukee Fire Department and Milwaukee Public School District have teamed up to teach kids fire safety through the Survive Alive House. Firefighters show the kids what to do in a fire emergency and then put their skills to the test. More people die from smoke inhalation than from the fire itself. So if you go and you're in your home and you have a fire, you want to stay low. Stay low and go. Since many fires happen at night, students are placed in a room of a mock house. As smoke comes out of the vents, they are told to stay near the ground where the oxygen levels and visibility is better. They exercise caution before opening the door. It's important to check the door at the back of your hand because that's the most sensitive part of your hand. You'll pull it away faster. Uh, it makes sure that you're not opening a door that has fire or smoke behind it. The first person outside calls 911, but before any of this happens, the kids are supposed to have multiple escape plans in place. Part of the escape plan is to have a meeting place, uh, a fixed object, a light pole, a mailbox, neighbor's house, somewhere where everybody's going to go so that you can account for your whole family. Hey, I'm going to tell my parents to make an escape plan and, uh, and so we can set up our, uh, our safety spot. It's that conversation that could save the lives of an entire family. In Milwaukee, Laura Langamo, Fox 6 News. Laura, thank you. Filling the void in his administration. President Obama announces his nominees for Secretary of Defense and Director of the CIA.